second most fishing. This is Jared Wold. I'm coming to you from Otter Creek in eastern Iowa County, Wisconsin. And we just had some rain events recently, so the water's a little bit up and stained, but not too bad. Looks like some people already hung up some spinners in the trees. <laughs> I just switched the view on this, by the way. I'd always been using the, the wide, really wide screen. What you realize is once you're more than about 10 feet away from me, you look like you're like 100 feet away from me. So like <laughs> one of my videos, I don't know if you saw my kick one of my Kickapoo ones from last year. I'm talking to some paddlers, but they look like they're so far away that I couldn't possibly be chatting with them. So this little spot here is a nice little, I usually hit this before I work my way back downstream. We'll kind of work upstream a little bit here. Um, but feel free to work from shore or from the, it's not too deep here. It's a little bit of peat right here, but this whole riffle is usually pretty productive. People make a big deal about stealth and stuff, but I don't, I mean, I, yeah, I'm sure if I was stealthier, I'm sure there's probably a few decent sized fish that I would have caught that I didn't, that I never did, but. <laughs> There's a fish. I just caught a tiger. It's the first tiger I've ever caught. See how the markings on its head are a little more, and then the top are a little more brookie-like, but the but overall its body is essentially uh, it's got like these spots along the lateral line, but its overall its body is more like a brown. Huh? Amazing! All my years, never caught a tiger. I don't know what what kind of omen that is, but hey, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, usually, well, usually they're a little darker, I think, and then, you know, like they look a little more brooky than brown. That one looked a little more brown than brooky, but even though it was missing its normal, uh... Huh. Well, once you know it, and that's actually, like, my understanding is usually they don't even get that big. You know, because they're, obviously, they're infertile. So... Well, son of a gun! <laughs> It's funny, a buddy of mine who uh, is a big fisherman that lives out in California, went to college with him, he, uh, so he's already caught a tiger, I don't remember where that was, he's also caught a, uh, what they call a golden trout, it's a cutthroat, what, a cutthroat uh, rainbow hybrid, so he's actually caught both of the, the hybrids, man that's fascinating. Yeah, because most of the targers are usually more colorful than that, but that, like I said, that was kind of like an early season coloration. Seen a fish take a swipe at every single cast so far here. Oh, man, that was... I mean, I got the... It's tough making that cast over the... Over all that, you know, <laughs> if I got it exactly where I wanted it. Of course, the drawback there was since I wasn't down here, if I'd had my net, I probably might have been able to get it before it. Ooh, oh! Oh! <laughs> Damn it! Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna have to switch lures because. <sighs> yeah, that was another nice one. <sighs> wow, 
Well, took another swipe at it. Oh, wow. That's one? Yeah, that was about 16, 17 inches. Like I said, I mean, you never, you know, even the riffles. And of course, you can get pretty close to them in the riffles because they can't hear you. So that thing was right at my feet. I thought for a second you must have cast right there because it looked like it had taken a swipe at a lure. Ho ho ho! Oh, I managed to actually end up on that one branch that was sticking out. Oh, there! <laughs> there was it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Uh, came decent size one came up and took a swipe right as I was about to pull it out of the water. Whoa. <laughs> Damn! Oh, <laughs> uh, everything's just biting short today. That was a really big fish. <laughs> Son of a bitch! I don't know why they're waiting until it's so high in the column, right at the end of the retrieve. Oh, nice. Whoa, that's a nice one. <laughs> 